Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous videos, I have tested wireless performance of the Extreme Networks WSAP3A25i and it was disappointed. So I have tried to install the Azure iApps AW7916 and PD Wi-Fi 6E AX3000 module and get it working. The throughput improves and reach up to 800 Mbps on the 5 GHz channel. Let's jump into the videos and I will show you the process. The very first thing, we need to open the casing to accept the internal PCB. This is pretty simple. First, remove the rubber stand-ups and then use a screwdriver to open the four screws at the back. After that, you can easily take out the plastic covers of the WSAP3A25i. This is the 2.4 GHz wireless module and one of the antenna connector were broken, but this is not the reason for poor wireless performance in the problems with the 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Let's remove the module from the PCB and we will have a short B run. Now I will take it out from the PCB from the base by sliding it opposite to the white color USB connector. Very well. Let's take a close look at the back of the PCB. Here you can see the Qualcomm QCA 9A80 module installed on the mini PCIe slot. I will remove it to leave space for the AW7916 NPD module. Let's install the AW7916 module and connect the antenna cables. After that, we are ready to boot up the WSAP3A25i for further configuration. To make life easier, I have also connected a console cable to managers using the CUI. The device is up and running. Let's run LS PCI to see the connected PCIe devices. If you receive an error message like LS PCI command not file, most probably the PCI utilities package is not installed and you can install it by OPKG update and OPKG install PCI UTILS. DWA7916 is detected and we have the entry MetaTech Corporation device 7906. It is time to install the firmware and set up the wireless connection. This is OpenWRT 24.10.1 running on the Xtreme Networks WSAP3A25i kernel version 6.6.86. Before proceeding, make sure you have connected the WSAP3A25i to the upstream router for working internet connection, else the installation will fail. Let's go to system, shortware and install the package KMOD MT7916 firmware. This will automatically install all the dependencies such as IW, KMOD 7915E, and KMOD MT76, etc. You may want to remove WPAD basics and install the full version such as WPAD, WOL, F, SL, but this is not required. After this is done, reboot the WSAP3A25i and you should see the MT7916 module appears in the wireless selection. Here we have two radios, one is working in the 2.4 GHz channels and one is working in the 5 GHz channel. I will enable the radios and set up the SSID accordingly. As we have been doing this for a lot of time, I will skip this part. Since we are focusing in the throughput, let's take a closer look at the 5 GHz SSID configuration. Here I go with AX mode or Wi-Fi 6 and WPA3 personal for the security. Something weird with the 5 GHz radio is that there is no option to change the bandwidth, also known as HT mode. Lucy will set the default values at HE20 or 20 MHz in the ETC config wireless configuration. As you can see, devices are connected but the RX and TX rays is only below 287 Mbps. The same link speed can be seen from my window computer. Running a quick speed test, the result is 187 Mbps for download and 158 Mbps for upload. 
Changing the mode to AC, channel 36 and bandwidth 80 MHz, I got a higher speed test result. The download speed is 618 Mbps and the upload speed is 642 Mbps. I have also changed the bandwidth to 160 MHz, but unfortunately, both my phone and the PC can't connect to the Wi-Fi SSID. Now back to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi 6 configuration. Even though we can't set the bandwidth using Lucy, we can do that from the command line interface by modifying the slash etc slash config slash wireless configuration. As you can see, the default parameters for HTMOD is HE20. That is why the link speed is slow. Let's change it to HE160 and reboot the device. Actually, you can just restart the network service. If this is your first time editing the configuration file with vEditor, please check out the guide on the internet before proceeding. Very well, the device is up and running again. Here we can see a higher link speed. Lucy is showing link speed up to 1020 Mbps. Speed test result is better, it is 651 Mbps download and 611 Mbps upload. Now, I will set the steering flow to 120A, enable shortwave offloading and test again. As you can see, the speed reaches 721 Mbps download and 764 Mbps upload. During the test, the CPU load is up to 85%. High CPU load is expected since the WSAP2825i is handling NAT and wireless at the same time. Before ending the video, let's see the iPub 3 throughput. This is a local server or LAN to LAN test. The iPub 3 server is running on the WSAP2825i, so some resources may be utilized for this process. With 4 streams running in the normal direction or offload, the throughput is 682 Mbps. Running the test in reverse or download, the throughput is 589 Mbps. Back to Lucy, we can see that the link speed is now 1200 Mbps. Something I want to highlight is that if you make any changes in the wireless section using Lucy, let's say changing the Wi-Fi address ID or password, it will also override the HD mode back to HE20. I'm not sure if this is something wrong with Lucy or the rival package of the MT7916, but let's keep an eye on this and see when this will be fixed. Alright, that will be all for this video. I will try to have the AW7916 model run in 6GHz, but that will be for another video. Thanks for watching and see you again.